Hello and welcome back in another video about sheet metal work and I'm here at Swartmouth Machines. It's a sheet metal workshop but not for making sheet metal, for making sheet metal machines. And I'm very proud to see these machines today. There's the Unicut and we have here also a, a flex cut machine and these machines are working in combination and we're going to try some examples to make to show how it works. I'm very excited to test this and let's get started. Now you can see here a picture I have took from the side and I also have took the sizes. You see here in a pipeline, I have a, a seam under the pipeline and there is also a box above it. And now I'm going to show you how uh, to, pr to proceed from taking sizes on the side. So now the next thing is I'm going to take over those sizes from the picture and I'm going to drag here on this icon. It means a new drawing and I have here things I can ch uh, choose. I'm going to choose here the normal pipe. We have also a band going up, ability to change the scene by clicking on it and now here it's under. Good. The next thing is the box. We have here a standing box, it comes here around so you can have it with small radius or not. So I don't want to have small radius, I just want to have an angle. So now it's an angle, take a good position. I have here an, an icon with a camera, so I'm going to make a picture and there's a picture of it. So that is for the fitter or for the fabricator in the workshop. Okay, now the next part is we are here now at the machine, at the final cut machine. And here is the drawing, the picture we have taken on the side. And next beside it is the drawing we made with the ISO Connect. So through the cloud, we put the ISO Connect XML file in this computer and now we have the same box here in digital form and the red line is the overlap so I can also change the overlap how I want it and we have upstairs you see here the line also that's the box and we're going to try now to cut it out so we're going to first cut the box and then we're going to go cut the pipeline so we're going to press the scissors and then we go on here flex cut and then we press collect and now we're going to transmit it to cut out the metal. I just have to press this green button and it starts. Okay, now next thing is I have put here the metal already on the table here. And the next thing is, well, I'm just going to press here the green button. I can also uh, sp here use this speed adjustment. Just with the swage machines, it goes faster if I want to have it faster. Now once the machine have cut out this metal, it's also have been marked where I have to fold the metal. So here is the folding part and this is the straight part from here and this is then where we start making the rounding part. But that will I will do in my workshop when I finish the metal. Now let's continue with the pipeline. Okay, after we have cut out the box, we are going to continue now with the piece of pipe and the band and the program automatically will continue with the next sheet. So this is the already the cut sizes you have. Now we're going to continue what we have done before. Press flex cut, flex cut, collect, and then transmit to the cut machine.
So now we have finished cutting out those parts and there are also some hints on the metal where the swages comes. It's also been numbered so you can put those pieces directly in the right order. So the only thing what is left now is to fabricate it and to fit it. Well, that was the video for today and thank you for watching.